Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So once again, very common interview question, how system out.printRN really works internally in Java. And a lot of people, they are not sure about it and they have some half knowledge. In fact, if you read some blogs, some really good blogs also, they have not given the exact reason and how exactly it is implemented and how exactly the out variable is initialized and where exactly the print ln method is defined and what do you mean by system class over here and what is the role of a JNI that is Java native interface support is available. So if you run this particular class main method system dot out dot print ln so we have uh, three things over here you can see system is a class out is the reference variable print ln is the method and then you are passing a string over here and then if you are uh, running this particular code let me run it you are getting hello world on the console you can see that so if you deep dive into this class system dot out and inside the system class out is the static final variable they have declared so i simply click on it and we will see the source code of a system dot class you can see this is a system dot class and this is the out variable actually created and this is a static final and public in nature and this is a type of print stream class so what happens guys if you see this particular diagram i'll show you this out variable is actually a static final variable defined inside the system class available in this package which is a type of print stream class so when you guide the reference of a print stream you can easily call all the methods of print stream class so this print ln method is actually defined inside the print uh, stream class in this particular class it is defined that's why you are able to call system this is out is the static variable so you can call it by the class name so that's why we are calling like this system dot out dot print ln so when you call system dot out this out is the actually type of print stream class and that's why we are able to call print ln so that's why when you write system dot out dot print ln this particular method will be called over here but how exactly it works and how exactly they are defined that's very very important to understand and most of the people actually Frankly speaking, guys, I have asked a lot of people, they never give the right answer for that. So if you see, this is the print uh, stream out object is there. But this, notice one thing, out is equal to null. Then you say, okay, fine, then it is uh, out is null and out is the reference of print stream. So let's go to the print stream class and let's find out where exactly the print ln method is defined. So let's go to the print ln class. This is the print ln. You simply press uh, control O or command O and then use let's search for a print ln over here so you can see that these are the different uh, print ln overloaded methods are available so let's let's see let's pick this any one let's see print ln this particular method you can pick you can see that so this print ln method will be called and which is available inside the print stream class and then it's calling internally new line over here and then this new line method will be called uh, over here it will create a new line and then it will be uh, creating with the help of text out or something like this text out is the flush buffer and flush buffer and like that so this is the internal mechanism of the uh, new line which is actually getting called by the print ln method same thing if you see that if you pass print ln with boolean print ln with a character print ln with integer everything will be called so for example let's say you're calling print ln with integer x this uh, write ln method will be called and again it will create a new line and it will actually write whatever the value the string that you are passing over here it will be passed over here like that so this is a very straightforward answer first part of the answer is that this where exactly the out method is defined out is the static variable available inside the system class that's why we always write like this system dot out we don't need to create the object of system class now the question is that can we create the object of system class so let's see if you go to system class and in this particular system class, the system class constructor is also private. It means don't let anyone instantiate this class. It means I cannot create the object of system class because this is the constructor is declared with private. So that's why you see that all these variables and all the methods of system class, they are static in nature. Same thing you can see in a stream also. Same thing you can see with the out also. And same thing you can see with error also. So when we write system dot err.println that is also give you uh, part of print stream and then that's why we are able to access uh, err.ln print ln as well so these all these methods are static and final why final so that no one can change their respective values 
But the question here is that if print ln out is equal to null, and then if I'm root, uh, writing, let's see, for example, I'm calling this particular method system dot out, and out is what? Out is actually defined with null. Its default value is null over here at line number 46 inside the system class. Then I'm, if I'm calling with the null dot print ln, it should give you what? It should give you null pointer exception, but it is not giving you null pointer exception. If you run it again, see, it's hello world is getting printed on the console. It's not giving you null pointer. This is the second uh, part of this question, guys, that how exactly this out is getting initialized inside the system class. This is what most of the people, they are not aware of it. And this is what you have to explain at the time of interview or whenever you are discussing about the out variable. So what happens, guys, <clears throat> this out variable is actually initialized by Java internally by JVM. So what happens that there is a method, if you slightly scroll down, there is a method that is three methods are available set in that is for uh, in then then we have set out method so what exactly the set out method will be called internally by uh, jvm jvm when the class is loaded this particular system class is loaded all the static variables will be loaded and then the set out method will be called by the jvm and this set out method is actually passing this print stream out over here it will uh, it will take this particular parameter out and this out will be given to this set out zero. When you see this, the declaration of the set out zero, you simply click on it. And this set out zero is what is taking print stream out a reference variable. It means we are passing the out over here. And this set out is actually a native method. Now, what do you mean by native? This native method is actually written in the C language in the system dot seeks, which is now this set out method will be called by JNI. Okay, will be called by JVM JNI. And uh, in this particular set out method, it's not written in Java. This set out uh, zero set uh, set in zero and set error zero, they all are declared with the native keyword. It means the actual implementation is written in JNI, written in the C language, written in system.c class or system.c file actually, not the class. So I'll show you that system.c. So see this, this is JDK 7 documentation, actual Java documentation, I'm referring open JDK.java. This is JDK 8 and this is JDK 9. So let's see the latest one or maybe JDK 9 or 8. You can see that exactly same implementation they have written. And uh, you just slightly scroll down and you can see that file name in the URL. You can see system.c over here. It means this is a C language. You can see that all the header files they have added uh, with the include string.h and everything and jvm.h they have added. And then you slightly scroll down. There are three JNI methods are available in this particular uh, system.c class you simply slightly keep scrolling down and uh, see this this is set in zero then set out zero method so this is actually called by jni so this is a jni call method will be done by jvm and set out zero method will be called this method is actually if you see over here <coughs> same method is declared over here so when we declare any method with the native uh, keyword it means you are calling the native it means you are calling the native function or native method. So this set out zero is a native function which is defined inside the system.c, not system.java. This is not a Java code, guys. And then the out variable will be given over here. And then the out variable will be initialized. So this is the reason when you write this line system.out, although initially it is declared with null, but when the Java class is loaded, all the static variable will be initialized. By default, let's see it is null over here. And then this out variable will be, it is initialized with this setup zero method that I've recently just show you, this particular setout method. So Java will call this particular setout method and internally it will call setout zero method and this is a native method. It will go to this particular system.c, which is part of your JDK or JRE only. And then this method with the help of JNI, with the help of, this is a JNI API call. So with the help of Java native interface support, this out variable will be initialized. That's why we don't get any null pointer exception over here when we call print ln. So this is the reason guys behind that. That's why we get the proper output. Then print ln method will be called, uh, which is coming from print stream class. So there are two parts of this particular question. The first is that where exactly it is defined. Out is the static, which is defined inside the system, uh, system class. So it's a variable. What type of variable? The type of this out is print stream. Uh, it will give you this is a type of print stream and then that's why we are able to call out dot print ln over here 
right? And then Brent Allen internally will be calling some <coughs> a new gen, a new line call or whatever that you are passing. It will be printed on the console, right, guys? So this is a reason. So remember how exactly people will ask you at a time of interview how exactly this out is initialized because by default out is a null over here. Then it should give you a null pointer exception. So it will call the JNI API call. That is Java native interface support. Uh, C language or C++ language, you can write the JNI code for that because Java supports native languages. And then from the system.c, this particular method will be called set out zero. Same thing set error zero. And same thing you can see it for set i nine, <coughs> set in zero also. Same thing you can see the implementation is JDK nine documentation also. Same implementation is available over here as well. Uh, these are the JNI calls are available. You can see set error zero then set out zero and then set in zero so, so guys this is a reason i hope it's clear now so please whenever you are giving the answer for this question there are two things you have to explain first is what exactly the location of the out what type of out the, what is the type of out is the type of out is print uh, this is a print stream and out is a static print ln is the method which is available inside the print stream so out is a type of print stream that's why we are able to call print ln method that's why there's a statement is like that system dot out dot print ln and out is a static in nature that's why we are calling no need to create the object of system class that's why we are calling with the help of class name and uh, we cannot create the object of system why because if you see the constructor of the system is uh, declared with the private over here and it's clearly written although they have not given any a body over here because we cannot create the object of system class in java I hope it's clear now. So thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching this video. That's all for this uh, topic. I hope if you have something interesting to know, if you have something uh, really good question to know, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Definitely I'll try to prepare a video or I'll try to comment over there. And uh, till then take care. Please subscribe to the channel guys. A lot of good things are coming on this channel. A lot of new things you will be learning with the proper way. Till then take care and God bless you all. Bye bye guys.